What's up, y'all? So we got my first time here. We about to clean it and cook it. But uh, before we clean it, there's a couple things I want to save on it, like the beard, the spurs, and the fan, so that we can make a little mount on it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to breast it out, and we're going to save these thighs here. We'll probably throw these thighs on the grill, probably fry the breast into some little tenders. Cut me some slack, because man, it's my first time that I'm cleaning. But Matt told me what I gotta do is I'm gonna make me a little slit right here, cut the skin. It's basically, it's probably just like cleaning a duck, but probably a little easier. All right. And then we're just gonna pull it off the meat. Oh, we forgot to get our beard. All right, we got the beard cut off here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some salt on the meat part, cure it, and get it dried up. So you got your breastbone in here. You're just gonna cut and go straight down the breastbone. Get that chunk of meat out right there on both sides. Damn, that's a lot of meat. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. I don't want that right there. <laughs> Come over here on this side. There you go. I guess I need a sharper knife. There we go. Big old piece of turkey breast right there. And uh, I'm about to go ahead and cut the other side. Here you go. Both my turkey breasts. I mean, that's freaking like eight pounds of meat right there in just this one turkey on them breast. Next. We're going to figure out how we're going to do these old turkey legs right here. Uh, I have zero experience with these turkey legs. So let's figure out how we're going to do this right here. I'm assuming we got to need to pull this skin off of it. The only tip I have for you guys doing this 
is make sure you got a sharp knife because this one's pretty dull. thigh too or just get the leg right here? Mm, no, I Probably just get the leg, huh? Yeah. Find this old joint for this turkey leg. Oh, my bad. <laughs> There we go. All right. Zoom right here. See the little joint right there? The bone pivots in that little joint. If you can find that joint, just cut straight down it. That old turkey leg right there, I'm gonna throw on the grill, put a little barbecue sauce on it, it's gonna be good. I wanna save this spur for my mount. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this piece off right here at this joint. There we go. We got our spurs for our mount, and we got our good old turkey leg right there. Let's get this other one. All right, guys. So the second turkey leg we're not gonna eat. Uh, and I'm gonna show you right here. There was this green spot in it right here, and see how green the skin and meat is back in there. See it all in there. We ain't taking a chance with no gang green around here, so. We're going to leave that one apart. We're going to take that spur off and uh, I'm going to let these things soak. Almost forgot. We got to get the fan to where we can put it on our mount. So right here, there you can see the little joint for the fan. Just cut straight down into that joint. Cut the fan off. It's like real meaty. Get behind the bung hole. both sides is there a bone or something mm, I think so there's something down there yeah I don't know, it might not be a bone, just try and cut through it. Alright, yeah. there we go. <clears throat> there you go, the old fan to go with the mount. Alright, so let's get these things soaking, get them cleaned up, and then let's cook them. We have our breast ready to cook now. What I've done is I just took one of the breasts and I marinated it in Italian dressing overnight all right so it's i put it in there probably about six seven o'clock last night and uh we're gonna cook it today so it marinated for like 16 hours because it's one o'clock right now the next day uh what we're going to be making is some wild turkey alfredo with pasta and uh garlic bread so what you're going to need to do marinade your breast i'm just going to do one because we're just feeding four people so i got one breast you're going to need some italian seasoning some uh, black pepper and some regular salt but we got our salt in this little container here but all it is is regular salt all right uh 
the purpose of the Italian dressing is just to kind of uh, make the meat not so tough and kind of kill the game flavor. So we're not too worried about making sure that Italian dressing stays on this chicken or this turkey. We got a big old juicy meat right there. That comes straight from the woods. Thanks to your boy. All right. So what we're going to do is basically dry rub this thing. We're going to sprinkle some black pepper on it. All right. Nothing fancy. Put some Italian seasoning on it. Put a little bit of salt. Flip her over. And we're gonna do the same thing to this side. So we're gonna throw this on the grill. Uh, I'm gonna try to get that grill around 375, cook it real slow. I'm gonna check it in about 30 minutes. Uh, I got my coals lit already, waiting on them coals to get right, because you don't wanna cook this thing over an open fire. You can't cook it on the stove, but I'm gonna cook it on the grill. The reason why you don't wanna cook it on an open fire is you'll burn the outside of it before the dead center of it's cooked. So we're gonna let that heat fall a little bit, throw it on there, slow roll this baby so it'll be nice and juicy. There we go, folks. We got the grill rolling at about 375. Coals looking right. So we're gonna go ahead. Don't mind the wind. The weather is bad out here, but we're gonna go ahead, throw this whole turkey breast, half of this turkey breast on there. Big old juice thing right here. And uh, as you can see, I don't got a whole lot of coals in there. You know, I, I ain't got no crazy fire. I done let my fire die down. That way I can cook it kind of slow. I, don't want, I want this thing to stay tender. Like, Ooh, boys. Listen at it. Listen at it. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this. Everything is open about halfway. That way I can keep that flame down, keep my heat restricted, kind of like what you do when you smoke something. So leave it all in there about 30 minutes. We're gonna come check her out. Alright, now we got the turkey on the grill. The next part is to get our pasta ready and our Alfredo. What we're going to do first though is the pasta because it's going to take a little longer. Uh, we got our pot right here. Ain't nothing but water in it. We, gonna, we got our setting on high. We're just going to try to get this to a boil. For our pasta or our noodles, we just got extra wide egg noodles. It's the kind of little twisty kinds. Look all fancy. Uh, not really brand specific. These were on sale. Alright guys, so my noodles come to a boil and uh, they're pretty done. So go ahead and drain all this water out of them. I did end up pouring a little bit of oil into it uh, while it was boiling so my noodles wouldn't stick together. Uh, that's just a tip. Uh, we, I do it for spaghetti, everything like that, any kind of pasta noodles. Put a little bit of oil in your water and your noodles won't stick. I waited till this come to a bowl, dumped it in there and uh, gave it a good mix and let it boil for a second. But this is the consistency right here of the noodles. It's a pretty solid piece and if you pinch it, it just breaks apart like that. You don't want it to be in your hand and be all mushy. You want it to actually stay a noodle. Side item, some garlic Texas toast. All right, so we're having Alfredo and pasta. Gotta have some garlic bread. So this is what we got right here. Simple five minute Texas toast. All right, frozen section at the grocery store. Not even name brand, store brand. All right, preheated oven, 375. Don't know what kind of bread you're gonna buy. Follow the instructions. This one says 375 for five minutes. So that's what we got. Already got the oven preheated. 
Throw them bad boys in there. Five minutes. Timer. Five. Start. Alright. I just flipped my turkey breast. It was in there for about 20 minutes. I went out there, my temperature's done dropped to about 350. Got a little burnt pieces on the tips, but it's looking good, smelling even better. Noodles are done. We're almost to chow time. Let's go. Behind the scenes. Are you recording? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Let's go get this old turkey meat off the grill. <laughs> All right. Oh, turkey meat been out here for about 40 minutes, so it ought to be good and done. I'm about to pick this jug up. I know this piece right here is done. Y'all know Sam, she's old prego, so she's a little skittish about the raw meat. But uh, this guy right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go check it out. Let's go take it in the house, slice it open. It should be done. Bertoli Alfredo sauce. All we got to do, open this can, get it in here, heat it up a little bit. Our noodles are done, our garlic bread's done, and our turkey's done. So once we get this bad boy heated up, we about to grub. Make sure we get all this, you know what I'm saying? We paid for it. We gotta get our money. Put a little bit of water in it. Nah, we don't, we don't do that watering down stuff. Okay, we like 100% full flavor. Two. I, I, like, I like my uh, Alfredo real saucy. So I'm gonna do two. That way, no one has to be shy with the alfredo sauce get as much as you want you know what i'm saying when you eat with tone it's all about getting what you want so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this on low put it on about two and a half get that to simmering while that's doing that i'm gonna cut this meat up get it into good little strips or little chunks that way we can get our bed of noodles on Throw our Alfredo sauce on the noodles, and then just put our chicken on top. Voila. Look how beautiful that turkey meat is right there, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, 45 minutes, pure perfection. Everything's done, and it's chow time. You just some pasta, get as much as you like. Throw you some Alfredo. Oh, I gotta get you a spoon for that. Here, just use that. You don't spread it over the turkey? Do what? You don't spread it over If you the want to, but I like putting it on the pasta first. What piece of turkey you put in there? As much as you want. Just don't eat it all. <laughs> Throw some Alfredo on that thing. The spring's not very big. I gotta get the edges. All right. Yeah. Get, get you some garlic bread. Steve and I are about to fix our plate, and we're about to see how good this is. Moment of truth. Was that turkey worth all them hours sitting in the woods, all them days waking up early? We about to find out. Get some of this old turkey meat right here and that Alfredo. <laughs> we about to go kill every turkey we see. Mm, that's good. If you like if you like Alfredo and you're a turkey hunter, you definitely need to make this dish. Moment of two for Steve. See what he thinks. What we got, what we got. That's good. Real good. Out of 10, out of 10, what would you give it? Probably nine and a half. Oh! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Wild Turkey Alfredo with some pasta 
and some uh, garlic bread. If you're out there hunting, you kill a turkey, gotta try this dish. Like I said, I mean, this is my first while, uh, time that I've ever killed, so it's my first time ever making this dish with my own turkey, and it's probably a staple. This will probably be one of the meals that I make, you know, every year during turkey season. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Hope you guys get out there, get you one, try this dish, smash that thumbs up for me, and I'll see y'all next time. I didn't ask Matt because I already knew what was going on over here. He was already halfway done with his plate by the time we even got our first bite.